Write that down. Write that down. I, I don't have a pencil. Well, remember that. Then. <laughs> Write this down. You like that? You like that? <laughs> Write it down. You like writing things down. Um, uh, um, or, uh, uh, Write it down. You like writing things down. Yes. It's our favorite segment of the week. Although, in other news, is actually coming down, coming down the back stretch. Yeah. It's pretty fun, too. I love that you mixed in the Brad Childress um uh, in that um, uh, that intro. It's so great. Um, or, uh, um, this is probably Manny's yeah. favorite song bite in the whole oh, system. Oh, yeah. I love he's it. Coming I love back. Anytime I can use it, I love it. <laughs> Tell Manny. He's coming yeah, back. Did you hear the news? No. Well, Chili Dog. We wonder, why why is he <laughs> leaving the... the uh, <laughs> The Alliance. Is Why would you thing? leave a head coaching job with the Alliance, right? Yeah. Is he going to coach in the XFL or something? Better. Well, kind of. <laughs> Until last year. <laughs> the Chicago Bears. He's going to be a senior offensive consultant or assistant or something. Oh, yeah. Well, somebody. him and Nagy were uh, pretty pretty close in Kansas City, right? They look very they were. much alike, too. Yeah, very so much alike. He's going back to the Bears now for the second time in the past year. Yes. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, Tahi, uh, <laughs> that's uh, that's Brett though. By the way, is Chili uh, Dog yeah. a thing? <laughs> was Chili Dog ever a thing? Is that something people called Brad Childress around I, here? I think it was just Chili, right? I called yeah. him okay. That. Yeah. yeah, it was just Chili. His okay. famous line one time was, uh, "So Judd was the lead Vikings beat reporter for Star Tribune and StarTribune.com." Don't you forget? And Judd, what was the <laughs> question you asked when he responded? Uh, I'm going to go home and. Uh, have drink a, a glass of vodka the size of your head. Uh, <laughs> oh, it was in, I think it was in the course of the 2000. So he took over in 2006 and it was either 2008, I believe the Vikings for, for the first time under him moved into first place. They beat Detroit, but they moved in, into first place. Right. And it was like, you know, let's say eight weeks in. So it was decent to be there. And I said, Aren't, did, did, did you slow down and smell the roses? You know, you're in first place for the first time. And did you do uh, you, anything special? <laughs> uh, and that's what he gave me that yeah i'm gonna go home and uh, have a glass of vodka the size of your head it's available somewhere <laughs> which has then led patrick of course through the, since then to, to be like it's the size of judd's head yeah <laughs> i mean i do have a big head uh, the melon's rather big i'll uh, i'll admit to that it's not outrageously no. big but it's sort of big he wasn't wrong i don't think it's that big no it's not small all right if you guys want to keep no, De that's... debating it. You're you're welcome to. Oh, here, hold it's on a second. Right. Is my head big? Twitch. Uh, Twitch. Yeah, you can you Twitch. can tell us in the Twitch Dot box. TV. If you has a big a right. big head. So if you're new to the segment, you can uh, you can see a couple different things. If you watch this either live or on demand on our Twitch feed, or if you find this on YouTube, you can see a bottom scroll of all of our recent wrong predictions. So we are, I think, as far as I know, we're one of, if not the old, the, we we pioneered this for sure a few years ago. Sports talk radio shows make predictions on a regular basis, but then the, the predictions just float they out just into go the away. ether. They just float out into space. We were freezing cold takes before freezing cold takes. <laughs> we keep track of each other's predictions and have batting averages for, for these Friday predictions. And so we're going to go through the right and the wrong, and then we'll each make three predictions here. We'll go around the room. Let's start with Judd here. You, uh, you said Miguel Sano will be traded this offseason by the Twins. <laughs> Nope. Probably not going to happen at this point. Doubtful. He's on the disabled list until the season starts. Very fair. You also said, and I thought you'd be right on this one, unless there's a last-minute change by Major League Baseball here. You said Major League Baseball will create an illegal defense rule by the 2019 opener. When did I say that? That's just wishful Two thinking. Two off-seasons ago. I oh, believe. wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's wrong. Yep. I agree. So at some point, they might step in, but uh, you would over for 2 there. Uh, the listeners, we're going to jump around here. The listeners, Dan in Green Bay, said Case Keenum will be acquired by the Giants before the 2019 season. Mm. Turns out it's the – now, th if that winds up happening, we'll go back and give him credit. But it turns out it's the Washington Redskins. He came very right. close. Though. Right division. Get the right yeah. division. Mm -hmm. Yep. He, uh, let's see here. Dale said the Cavs <laughs> – I don't know why Dale predicted this, but <laughs> the Cavs and Wolves will both make the playoffs, and the Wolves will have the higher seed. Mm. Whoops. He's going to be wrong on both those, but especially the Cleveland Cavaliers. Uh, and let's see, Rami, you said nothing came off the board for Manny or Jonathan this week. So you guys are Phew. you guys are safe. And Jonathan, you're still over on the season, but you'll get there. No, he won't. <laughs> Man, he's so bitter. There's a, so bitter. There's, about a rivalry. Ratings. there's bad blood here, and I love it. All I'm trying to do is create ratings. This is the Bears and Packers. Rami and Jonathan. This is the NBA. 
Just, yeah. Just it's petty okay. drama, man. I love it. Great. Rami, you said <laughs> Colton from Control. The Bachelor. Colton, yes. The Bachelor. The Bachelor. Last week was Fantasy Sweet Week. Right. And you said for last week's episode of The Bachelor, Colton would keep the virgin streak alive. Yeah. Love that bell. He did. And it was 100% his choice because yeah, the first fantasy sweet gal was like ready to rock and roll. Mm -hmm. And Colton pumped the brakes. He went leaping over a fence yeah. to not have sex. Yes. <laughs> that is correct. I'm going to withhold comment. <laughs> <laughs> and the the final accountability session here, Judd, we need you to tell us yep. where you had your meals last week in or this last week in Fort Myers. Uh, first night I didn't go out. I went home and wrote. The next night I went to Pots with Patrick and Derek and watched all three games. Um, and then the last night there, which would have been Wednesday, went to Fancy's. Mm. Mm. Phil had Sorry, a prediction. Buddy. I had you going to Stevie Tomatoes at least twice. Oh, you know what? What's funny about that is on on Tuesday we almost did, but then Pat had said go to Pots, and and as Why soon would as you go to Pots over Stevie Tomato. Okay, so what decision places. was that? Derek, Derek wanted to. These are all the dive Derek, bars around the ham, uh, the Twin Spring training facility. Derek was willing to go to Stevie's, and I said, well, we we, we go to Pots, and Derek said, I don't like going to Pots. It's not that great. Blah blah it's blah. Kind of sleazy. And then I said, well, Roycey <laughs> said he he would meet us at Pots. And Derek snapped to attention and said, well, then let's go to Pots. Oh. <laughs> so Pat says, let's so, go to Pots. Yeah. So said. Judd says, let's go to Pots. Mm. Like, yeah, I don't think so. All right. So I was wrong on that one. Uh, the batting averages going into this week's predictions. Judd, actually, Rami is leading at 571 yes, on the I season am. so mm. far. Off to a hot start. Judd is hanging in there at 333, Just slugging 481. Now, Rami, you're slugging 1,000, by the way. So you're, you're doing well. I am batting 286, slugging 429. And Manny is batting 143 and slugging 286. Jonathan, the listeners, and our guests are all over on the Write That Down season so far. Over. Let's start with Judd. We'll go Judd, Jonathan, Manny, Rami, Phil, and we'll go around the room three times. All right, time for the glasses. Got, got to put the glasses on so I can see what I wrote down. All right. <clears throat> Write this down. Miguel Sano will not play third base in a game for the Minnesota Twins LLC until May 15th or after of this season. May so, 15th. Yeah, so he's supposed but he's supposed to be back on May 1, right. which, which I which I am skeptical skeptical about, but even if he gets back on May 1, I think he has to DH. I don't think he plays third base again at the earliest until May 15th. Write it down. You like writing things down? Jonathan. The Twins home opener will be snowed out. That's it. That's a single okay. at this point, right? <laughs> at this point, it is. <laughs> I almost made a prediction like that, and then I'm like, I can't do that because I would be ridiculed so much by everyone else on the show. And you did it. Okay. And yeah. no ridicule. Well, Jonathan, but I, I'm okay with Jonathan going for singles at this point because you got to get on the board. I've got a lot of stuff that's far out. So. Yeah, you've got. That's, in fact, that's, you've got a lot of stuff here. You've got Minnesota United making the playoffs. You have a 2025 Super Bowl location prediction on the board. When do they announce that? Uh, it's the next one to be announced. Oh, okay. is it? Okay. So, All right. yeah. Okay. All right. Write it down. You like writing things down. Over to Manny Hill. Marwin Gonzalez will hit at least 20 home runs for the Twins this season. Ooh. Okay. Write Has that he, down. Okay, dumb question. Has he done that before? Uh, the year the Astros won the World Series, I think he hit 23. Okay. All right. So he's – and so playing time is going to be the, the key factor there. And, hey, with he might be the with starting Sano third being baseman, out right? until May, yeah, he's going to get some – he's going to get some at-bats. Write that down. I don't have a pencil. Well, remember that. Then. I'm pretty sure uh, we've run into this before, but I don't remember how we resolved it. I also have written down opening day will be delayed or postponed. So you're welcome to double up on the predictions. Okay. But in the spirit of really making the segment. Up on mine? Yeah, I know. He's over on the season. Mm -hmm. yeah. In no, the no, spirit. No, just in general for today. <laughs> today. <laughs> to make the segment fun, we encourage you to add something or a twist to the prediction. I don't even know what twist I could add to that prediction, though. It's going to get snowed out. How about the first? <laughs> how about the first two days are snowed out? I just I don't even want to say that. How you about Andrew? How about series. this? How about Andrew Wiggins will be a Laker to start the next season? <laughs> how about he will throw out the first pitch <laughs> when they do done. play their home opener? Rami panicked at the golf show a few weeks ago. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Andrew Wiggins will be a Laker next year. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, but I still have his, the man. best batting average. Um, I will. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, the hammer comes down. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep. I'm just gonna double down on what Jonathan said and say opening day will be delayed or postponed. Okay, mm-hmm. fair enough. Write that down. I don't have a pencil. Well, remember that. Then. All right, I'm, my first one is one just because we we you guys made me write this down in my notebook earlier this week. I predicted on the show, I think on Monday or Tuesday, Jose Barrios will win a Cy Young Award by the end of 2021. I said in the next three years. Okay. So by the end of the 2021 season, he will have at least one Cy Young Award under his belt. Write it write down. Write this down. Write it down. You like writing things down. Over to Judd. I am going to come back with an optimistic prediction about what's going to occur on March 28th for the Twins and say the Twins will play their home opener as scheduled and it will be a celebration of the great sport of baseball. The field will be in fine condition. This is one instance where I hope I'm wrong and Judd is right. I really do. Just because I will be wrong? No, just (laughs) because I don't like the thought that we're still going to be buried under snow on March 28th and not able to watch baseball. I need baseball and I need this nonsense to stop. I am very opposed, though, to starting the baseball season in March. I don't like it. You know why? I know why they do it. I don't like it. You know why you don't like it? Why? Because it's cold out. Write this down. And Write it down. You like Thanks, writing Uncle things Rami. down. And you don't have a roof on your <laughs> would you ta- Would you care to tell me any other bedtime write that down stories? <laughs> Once upon a time, they built a stadium in Milwaukee and put a damn retractable oh, no! roof on Uncle it. Rami. And it's beautiful. Uncle Rami, stop. Yeah, Uncle Rami's pounding the table. Stop, oh, Uncle yeah. Rami. <laughs> Uncle Rami's pounding the table. I think he's drinking again. All right, back to Jonathan. Not yet. <laughs> Write this down. <laughs> this is off the rails. <laughs> Just a bit. Uh, Minnesota United will get <laughs> Minnesota United will get their second win of the season tomorrow, and it'll be their first ever victory over San Jose. So, so Minnesota United will win tomorrow. Yes. Okay. They've never beaten San Jose. Never in four chances. Hmm. Write that down. I, I don't have a pencil. Well, remember that. Then. Okay, Manny. The Timberwolves will pick in the top four of the NBA draft. Home run. Home run. Top four. Home run. Wow. Manny Hill. Slung it. Move into the top Swing four. It for so what, fences. Okay, so you and a cheap plug here on on uh, Raised by Wolves, you guys have been all in on tankathon.com. Yes. And, and that's where the season has mm-hmm. taken a turn for. And so what is, what's the best they can do in terms of tanking now? Like, they, what's the highest percentage? Like, how low can they go down the rung? I think realistically, they could be in the ninth spot, which would give them, I think, gives them like a 20.3 or 20.5% chance of picking in the top in the top four. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm on tankathon.com yeah. right now. It's on my favorites tab. Uh-huh. <laughs> and they would need to gain, I did that in quotation marks, they would need to gain two and a half games on Dallas or Washington to move into the seventh place high in terms okay. of odds. Uh, they're only one game back of the the nine spot, like Manny was talking about. If they get the nine spot, it's a 20.3% chance to land in the top four. Mm-hmm. If they end up in that seventh place high, it's 29. It's about a 29% chance to land in the top four. Okay, interesting. And, Write it down. And I think, uh, the, so Robert Covington didn't practice, was it today? And now there's talk about Robert Covington might not come back here. And if the Wolves are smart, hey, we love Rocco, but Rocco, go book some tea time. That's an important part of the future. Keep them healthy. Write this down. Write it down. You like writing things down. Back to Rami. I have a question for you, Phil Mackey. Mm -hmm. So in the remainder of this bachelor season, will there be more opportunities for Colton to finish? Okay. To end the streak? Yes. He will not end the streak before the end of this season of The Bachelor. Because I have a prediction that's the opposite. So really? we're clashing. Okay, good. All right. Now, now there have been times where the season will will carry forward after the final episode, and they'll do like, like a, a reunion show. Yes. Okay. I'm saying before the actual final episode of the season. So the okay. reunion, reunion show not included. Okay. Bef- so before reunion show, when live. he hands up before he will not close the, he will not end the streak before he hands out the final rose. Nor will he live on the reunion show get down and dirty like during a commercial. <laughs> <break. laughs> I hope not. Okay. Write Actually, this down. Write it down. Good, you that'd like that'd writing things down? <laughs> so Colton will not end the streak. I want to make sure I have will this. Will not end the streak before he hands out the final rose. All right. Write this down. Teddy Bridgewater will start a playoff game for somebody next season. 
Teddy Bridgewater will start a really playoff game. Teddy Bridgewater if you, if you yes. give me a team, that's a home run. What is it now? A triple? Uh, I just, I, yeah. That's at least a triple. Yeah, it's not a home run, but it's not a home run. I don't know. Give... I don't want to. I, I just want it to be. I want to root for Teddy. I don't want to. I don't want to be wrong like Monday. <laughs> I so you're saying he'll start a playoff game? You're saying he'll, he'll start, start a playoff, playoff game. game. Okay. I want to build so like if he signs on as a backup somewhere, then I get to root the whole season for his incumbent. Sorry, to get hurt, to get hurt yeah. and then he gets to start a playoff game. So I want this to build drama for... to the playoffs. Okay. So Teddy Bridgewater will start a playoff. Okay, I got hurt. I got hurt. Write it down. You like writing things down. <laughs> In prom two one for my last one for this week. I was going to do go for hockey. I have now decided not to because you guys keep talking about Colton. So I'm going to tell you guys this. Write this down. Okay. I've never watched this show. I don't care. I went by it on Monday. I couldn't get by it quick enough. But there will be a story in the next six months that Colton indeed was not a virgin and it was made up by the producers. I think that is very possible. As a storyline. I think that so is very possible. Us Magazine or one of those rags, which I read and absolutely love, will come out with a story in the next six months. So there's a timetable. So they actually, they dug a little bit on this topic on one of the last episodes where they, I think one of the producers kind of asked him about it on camera and he said, going into the fantasy suite like are you uncomfortable he's like well i mean i've been intimate like i've and he pauses he goes i mean i've like pretty much done everything except and then he kind of looked at the camera with a <laughs> seductive a knowing glance yes, yes. <laughs> but he's done middle school now hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on because now we need clarification so let's say the season ends he hands out the final rose to all of our knowledge streak is still alive right then the People Magazine article comes out three weeks later with his high school girlfriend saying he's a liar and we, we yeah. had sex in high school or college, whatever the case might be. Yeah, then Judd gets a point. But do I still get the point? Oh. You see what I'm saying? I think he still does. No. Because yeah. the, streak, the, the streak never started. Therefore, you're, therefore, you— But as far as we know, up until that rose— the streak is still alive. Rami and is, I think that's what Can counts. we go and take hits off the board? Rami's because, predicting no, Rami's predicting okay, who was that player for the Cubs that was like over forty last year? Uh that like bench bat. Okay, let me just give an example. Byron Buxton comes up a couple of years ago and he started the season, or was it last year, like over forty. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Yes. And you're predicting Byron Buxton will not get a hit right. until blank. Right. And then we find out, oh, actually, that error was turned into a hit on week two. Uh, you're saying he will remain hitless. He will remain hitless until yes. blank date. Yes. We find out that, oh, actually, he had a hit in the second game of the year. That error was turned into a hit. So can my hit be taken off the board? That prom night thing, actually. Let's say <laughs> <laughs> This is a really in-depth write that down Let's say the, write it down. You like writing Let's say the down. final rose ceremony yeah. happens. And to all of our knowledge. And you'll get the hit at that point. I'll get the hit at that point, right? Yeah. The People Magazine article comes out with yeah. the ex-girlfriend, and we find out that he's a liar, and this streak was never really alive. Will we then go back and retroactively take the hit off the board? So I this is always a this is a democracy here. Yes. I write that down. So I vote hit comes off the board. Hit comes off the board or hit stays for Rami? I think the hit stays yeah. because he made the prediction in good faith and will be – it's not his fault that we're going to find out that the guy is or was a fraud. Okay. So it's it's his current streak that we're evaluating. Yes. yes. Okay. Because you're, right. because sure. you're going on under the, the good faith that this is accurate. Right. Okay. And yeah. I'm just saying within the next six months. You know what? Just to clear up any confusion, <laughs> <laughs> let me go back and slightly amend – my write that down prediction Ooh, about Colt. This is not usually because I because I think this will, I think this will clear up any confusion and clear the air. He won't close the deal with any of the remaining bachelorettes. That's fair. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. That's okay. That's fair. Write Thank this you. down. All right. It's Appreciate back on you here. Actually. Back on me. Yeah. Uh, Kyle Rudolph will be released by the Vikings next week. Or is it back on you? I don't no, even know. No, it was supposed to be John. Oh, I'm sorry. 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 Back to Jonathan. <laughs> well, I, I just. What did you it. just predict? Kyle Rudolph will be released by the Vikings next week. Wow. That's a boring one. I had that After one. After what I just I'll did. The other one. <laughs> All right, Jonathan, go ahead. I had that one, but I'll just go to my backup. Case Keenum and oh. the Washington Football Squad will come into U.S. Bank Stadium this season and leave victorious. Mm. Kirk Whoa. Cousins Ouch. will throw an interception in that game. Wow. Okay. So you're going to parlay here. Yeah. Wow. Fair enough. Write this down. Dare, Write dare it down. You a, like writing things down. Dare to go an extra step and say that that interception will be returned for a touchdown. <laughs> no. It's already a home run as it is. 
<laughs> we're going to make it one of my signature Grand Slams. That right, never happened. Back to Manny Hill. Uh, Greenway High School, the boys' hockey team. They're playing in the Class A state championship game tomorrow, and they will win the Class A state uh, championship. Would that game. be an upset? Yeah, well, it was an upset today. They beat Montemita in overtime today. Okay. They came back, Montemita, right? was, yeah. Down by a goal, came back and tied it and won an OT. Oh, write awesome. that down. Greenway will win the state title tomorrow. Write that down. Write it down. You like writing things down. And I believe this is the final prediction of the week here. Right? We've already done all three. I'm just filling in here. Um, Antonio Brown will catch 15 or more touchdown passes next year. Regardless of team. From Aaron Rodgers. Oh, oh boy. Oh, boy. Wow. wow. Dramatic pause. Write it got down. Me. You like writing things down. From Aaron Rodgers. Well played. Didn't see that coming, did you, Rami? I did not see that. On no. the Jaguars. <laughs> <laughs>